In this video, I'll be talking about a combination of mods that allow you to summon undead minions, recruit human followers, and use magic. The mods are called Necromancy, Skyheim, and Friendlies. The focus of this video will be the Necromancy mod, but I'll briefly cover the other two. Necromancy is a fantastic mod for Valheim that lets you create a star, which you can use to summon skeletons with. By default, you can only have 8 of them, and if you put your staff away, they begin to deteriorate. But these settings can be changed in the mods configuration file. To summon the skeleton, you need to equip the staff, block, and then press Z. Some of your health will be consumed, and a minion will appear. You can sacrifice your own health to heal the minion if it gets damaged. With middle click, you can cycle the type of minion you want to make. You can have two kinds of skeletons, Skeleton Warrior and Skeleton Archer. The warrior uses a sword and shield, and the archer uses a bow. Both of these minions are very good, and can be told to follow or wait. If told to wait, they will wander around the general area. They can be teleported to your position using block and X. By default, the minions are permanent as long as you have your staff equipped, but the moment you put it away, they begin to take damage and will die after 15 or 20 seconds. This is very annoying because whenever you want to cut wood or cross a river, or scratch your balls maybe, the minions suddenly start to die. They also can't be used to guard your base because of this annoying deterioration. Fortunately, this can be turned off in the mod's config file, and then the skeleton can be told to wait in your base, and he'll stay there and guard it forever. You can also raise the minion limit inside the config file, as well as tweak their health and a few other things, like how much health is consumed when you summon one, as well as the hotkeys for the abilities. One cool thing you can do is block and then press the N key, and this will cause all following minions to guard the current area, same as if you are told each one individually to stay. There's another neat trick you can do, log out while having some minions around. This will cause them to persist in a state where they are not your followers, but are still allied to you, and will still guard your base. You can tell them to follow you again, but they appear to behave in a buggy manner. They won't teleport with you properly, and often follow very slowly or get lost. It's better to make fresh minions in this case, and leave these old ones in retirement as base defenders. I'm scoring Necromancy a solid 8 out of 10 for its minion mechanics. It scores highly in all areas, but falls down in minion diversity, due to the only minions being Skeleton Warriors and Archers. The modder has more planned though, so hopefully in the future more undead types will come. It's fortunate that the mod allows itself to be so extensively tweaked in its configuration file, otherwise it would have scored lower in the plentiful and permanent categories. My main criticism of the mod is that it lacks progression. The skeletons are a late game thing, and the requirements for the one are expensive, and requires a tier 4 workbench. It'd be really cool if a low level player could craft a newbie wand and get weaker minions, then these stronger ones could be reserved for later on. Unless you cheat the wand in, you have to wait quite a long time before being able to hit the minions. Skyheim is a magic mod that adds magic to the game. There's a different tier of magic for each boss, so as soon as you kill the bosses, more tiers of magic will unlock. The first tier spells are Firebolt, Frostbolt, Healing, and Light. Tier 2 has Force, Invigorate, and Warmth. Tier 3 has Recall, Travel, and Blink. And Tier 4 has Frost Nova and Immolate. Finally, tier 5 has Glacial Spike. I've only been able to try the tier 1 and tier 2 spells so far, but they're very good. As you use the magic, the skill for that magic will increase, which improves the spells. The spells come in the form of a rune which you can put in your hotbar and equip, then left click to cast the spell. The spells consume mana, which regenerates pretty quickly. The healing spell also works on your undead minions from the necromancy mod. The runes aren't horribly expensive to craft, which is nice. You can get most of the ingredients needed from raiding a crypt. If you like magic, Skyheim is a good option. Finally, we come to the Friendlies mod, which adds friendly NPCs to the game which you can find and recruit. Basically just extra followers you can put in your base and use as guards. You can find guys like this wandering the wilderness, and if you run up to them and press E on them, they will follow you. To be honest, I don't know if these followers come from the Friendlies mod, or if they come from RRR NPCs which is a requirement of the friendlies mod. Doesn't matter though, the more minions the better. I also recommend you pick up the RRR Better Raids mod, so that the raids are more interesting and challenging. Especially since you'll now have hordes of minions and warriors to defend your base with, as well as your powerful magic from Skyheim. 
Thanks for watching. I hope this information helps you have a fun time in Valheim. Thanks to these mods, Valheim is now my favorite survival game. To me, Valheim feels like an awesome cross between Skyrim, Conan Exiles, and Minecraft, and it kind of scratches that multiplayer Skyrim itch I've had since forever now. Valheim is also incredibly stable and bug-free. I'm used to Conan Exiles, which is a buggy mess, so this is very refreshing.